Hey, it is Black Widow Molly, and it is very early morning. Well, early for me, it is 9.37, and, um, yeah, so. Alright, well, I am here to do a tutorial for the beginners, and, um, well, I'm sorry, not a tutorial, a, what you're gonna need. If you really want to get into makeup, this can be for, you know, young ladies. Um, this can be for transitional people, the transitional sex. I don't know how to say it. <laughs> um, I don't like the word transvestite. It makes me think of um, just weird things. <laughs> so, transitional people. We'll just say that. Um, you know, or even people that are, you know, 25 and had no clue on earth what to buy for the first time they were buying makeup. Okay. Well, the first thing you're going to need is actually this. Sten skin cleanser. Astringent. Yes, my bottle is very, very dusty. That's because I use baby powder. Um, but yeah, I use this as much as I can. Lately I haven't, though, and I got breakouts. So, uh that teaches me not to use my skin cleanser. Okay, the second thing you're going to need is an oil-free foundation. So you're going to use this. Um, this is what I use anyway. This is Rimmel Stay Matte. And you're probably going, well, that's not a very big bottle at all. Well, see, the thing is, I don't even use it that much. So I really don't need a big thing of foundation to, for it to last me quite a while. Seriously, um, I'll probably use half of this before it'll go bad and I throw it out. And then you need a pressed powder. I use the Stay Matte by Rimmel. I'm a Rimmel girl. But, um, yeah, you're going to need this. Now, um, the next thing you're going to need is something for your lips. Well, honestly, I don't wear a whole lot of lipstick, so I just use this glossy lip stuff. It's clear. It works for me. If I do want to add a touch of color, I add some mica to it. You guys have seen my micas many times. Um, I will show those at the end. Um, and then you're going to need, after that, eyeliners. Now, there are various kinds of eyeliners. We have liquid. This is my liquid black. I've got my um, Perfect Point Plus by CoverGirl. This is the only CoverGirl product I think I can use other than one of their eyeshadows. But it's pretty good. It's got this little, uh, you just click it up, you know, you don't have to sharpen it, which is nice. You can get that. Or, um, and I do have this too, you can get a Rimmel um, Black Magic one. Yeah, if you don't want black eyeliner, don't get black eyeliner. This is just what I have. And it's just a pencil. I use a lot. Um, don't get gel or cream eyeliner right off the bat. You're not going to need it right off the bat. And then you're going to need a mascara. I use Rimmel Glam Eyes. It's the best one I've ever encountered. There's the brush. It's a little silly Connie brush. See, I've actually bent mine because it works better for me if I bent it. And then after that, what you're going to need for anything else, you're going to need brushes. Now, I've got various brushes. I've got three e.l.f. brushes, ELF brushes, which, um, you know, I bought these at the dollar store. They're a dollar each. Um, a lot of people are like, oh, get Mac, get Mac, get Mac. You don't need to get Mac. You don't need to spend um, $50 on one brush. And no, I am not kidding. I have gone on the website, and I have seen the price of their brushes. And they are extremely high, in my opinion. I'm sorry, you do not need to spend $700 on a full brush set. However, there is an alternative. Hmm. 
What are these? Doesn't that say Mac, Molly? Why, yes, viewer, it does say Mac. Hmm. But you just told me not to get Mac. Yes, I did. These are wonderful little fakes. Now, the good thing about these fakes is I like them, and they're cheap. I paid $17 for this entire case full of them. Um, you guys can go and look at my fake Mac video. But yeah, this full case is shown on it. And I got 24 brushes for $17. Yes, it came from Hong Kong. Oh, isn't stuff from Hong Kong bad? Half of the makeup you use if you aren't using make or if you are using makeup comes from Hong Kong so don't do that you know don't be oh I'm not gonna use it because it came from Hong Kong when I guarantee you there are some makeups that you have in your case right now that are and I'm sorry but these are just the brushes this isn't you know makeup but yeah get those and then after that, you're going to need some eyeshadows. Now, <laughs> you can get, um, I've got these little Sally Girl baked ones, which I love. Um, I've got the white, the purple, which is really, really pretty purple. I do like it a lot. And then I've got the gun metal. And what you can do with these, you can wet them down, and they work even better, as you can tell. My gunmetal one is um, rather used. <laughs> but yeah, get big dye shadow. They work awesome. Um, these were like, I th how much were these? Huh? I think they were 99 cents a piece. Um, if you want even better stuff, then you can get this NYX Ultra Pro Mania. This is actually sent to me in a swap. This is charcoal pearl. Um, she also sent me um, purple pearl. I can't find it at the moment though, but I think it's in there somewhere. No, thank you, Benny. Um, and then uh, if you're gonna have a pencil of anything, you need a little sharpener. This is 99 cents. It's really cheap. And that's basically all you're gonna need. Um. If you're more intermediate, then I recommend that you get some, you know, other things too. But, um, go to Coastal Scents. Look at their micas. And I can tell you right now, like, um, this is how big the bag is. Obviously, the corner's been cut off. This is how big the bag is. And that's a pretty good size bag. And it fills, um, like a 20 gram jar, or 20 milligram jar, whatever the heck they call it. It's like a jar yay big, about yay tall. I'm not up on all my makeup terms. <laughs> all that I know is I like doing makeup. Anyway. So that's uh, what I'm recommending for all of you makeup noobs. I'm a makeup noob too. I'm there along with you. So uh, Black Little Molly, over and out.